Later this morning, the Walton County Sheriff's Office, in partnership with Air Methods, is unveiling the newest medical transport system in the Florida Panhandle. Yeah, and News 13's Ethan Logue joining us live from Dufiniac Springs. Tell us more about this new life-saving transfer system. <laughs> Good morning, Ethan. <laughs> Good morning, Chris and Kelsey. I know I may be in a little bit of an interesting situation here, but... The unveiling of this helicopter will be in just a few hours at 9.30, and you can watch that on the official Wallen County Sheriff's Office Facebook page. Something you can't see live, though, is an actual demonstration on how you will be loaded up if you were to be in one of these helicopters. I'm joined by two members of the flight crew, Amanda and Shane. So, Amanda, kind of walk us through what it would look like if you were to be placed in one of these. So prior to this point, you would have been loaded into an ambulance, and we would meet them somewhere, whether on scene or at an LZ designated somewhere. Um, we would transfer you from the EMS stretcher to this sled and back on the EMS stretcher for transport to the aircraft. If you're alert and oriented, capable of sitting up, we would go ahead and set you up so you could be a little bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. Just like that? Just like that. We secure you with all of the straps just to ensure your safety for our flight. And we would rotate you into this little tube for a fast and efficient transport to the hospital. Wow, nice and easy, nice and efficient. Now, what are some situations where you're, uh, using a helicopter would be better than, say, an ambulance? Anytime you have some time critical diagnosis, um, pediatrics in this area typically go to Sacred Heart if they're critically injured mm -hmm. or ill. So we would take you from here over there or any of the other pediatric facilities around. There are many different conditions where people are in wrecks or you know they've had strokes, heart attacks, things like that. And we just get you there a little bit a little bit more efficiently, a little bit faster. And it's a pretty smooth ride in here. We're able to manage airways in here. Um, we have all cardiac monitor capabilities, and we also carry multiple medications to try to help you in case your blood pressure drops or anything like that. Now, I gotta say it is, it may not be the roomiest thing, but I do feel comfortable, which is obviously <laughs> a great thing. Now, you're not just serving Walton County, correct? It's also surrounding areas. Correct, we serve Walton County. We're um, sitting right here at the airport, but we also serve all of the areas around here. All right, and then as for the gear inside, is there anything that may be different than your typical ambulance? Uh, a lot of the ambulances do not carry ventilators, so we're able to put you on a ventilator to manage your airway if needed. We also carry blood products in case there's any trauma or any issues with bleeding where we may need to administer a little bit of blood to you. Uh, we also carry a lot more medications than some of the ground services do. That way we can control and manage a lot more conditions. All right, and then just a reminder again, the unveiling of this helicopter will be at 9.30 a.m., just a few hours away on Walton, County, uh, Walton County's official Facebook page. Guys, back to you in the studio. All right, sounds good. Thanks a lot, Ethan.